This is the first video of a multi-part series of videos demonstrating how to perform a basic setup using a Jetty transmitter, a uh, Spirit Pro, oops, Spirit Pro fiberless unit. And for these uh, videos, I will be using a Mac computer, but the information is also applicable to a regular PC computer. Uh, for this part uh, of this series of videos, uh, I will be setting up the Jetty transmitter to uh, work properly with the Spirit uh, unit. So I will turn on the radio. I'm going to turn logging off for now. No need for logging here. Um, uh, here I'm going to um, create a brand new model. Okay, create a brand new model. So let's uh, uh, go into um, uh, menu, the model. You know, see a new model. Uh, what are we going to name it? Uh, let's uh, name it uh, Spirit um, Spirit Rocks, right? Um, why? Because you know, the Spirit uh, does rock, all right. And that's it. Well, that's long, huh? Uh, so Spirit Rocks. Uh, we're going to choose uh, Heli, of course. So heli uh, for serve uh, for swash type we're going to use mechanical that's what you always choose for any flyerless unit uh, using the jetty uh, radio uh, so mechanical uh, these uh, uh, values we're going to leave them at default so governor and gyros at uh, no we, we're not going to use them at all uh, for function assignments I'm just going to make a few uh, changes this is, this is me personal for gyro uh, sense. I like to use this particular switch as opposed to the SD. Again, this is just my personal preference. You, can, you guys can do whatever you want uh, with your radios. And, oops, I'm gonna clear uh, this. And let's see, um, I'm actually gonna reverse that. I like it when it's up like this and then down that way. Again, this is just personal preference. Uh, what I will do is I will create another assignment and I'm gonna call this uh, Banks. Uh, uh, this, uh, uh, spirit unit like uh, most other uh, modern flyerless units they have a, a, a banks usually three banks and um, uh, so I'm gonna use a, a let's see what the, I'm gonna actually use this switch here um, to uh, th is a three-way switch to uh, activate uh, the different banks okay and I already have it so that it's easy, telling me what what bank it is okay and I'm, 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 we're done with this all right then um, here, this just tells me the servo assignments. I'm just gonna leave those alone and activate the new model and yes, okay. So now for this uh, servo uh, setup, um, I will uh, leave them at the default. So all the channels, there are the sub trim is zero, the max positive is 100 and the max negative is negative 100. I'm just gonna leave that alone for now. As you can see, all the channels are, are, are set up the same way, okay. Um, for the flight modes, I'm going to create the flight modes right now. So um, I'm just going to put yes. And what it did, it, it gave me the auto rotation. We can, we can call it throttle hold, same thing. Uh, and then the different idles. Uh, for the auto rotation uh, switch, I, I like I like this switch out here, the SG. All right. So I'm going to assign it now. All right. So switch, boom. Okay. So now um, anytime the switch is up, it'll... Uh, It'll activate the throttle hold or auto rotation. Now for these, um, uh, for the idle up, for the idle up switch, I like to use the SC switch. Uh, so we're, which is the same as my uh, gyro sense, and we'll talk about that later. Um, so for uh, idle up three, this will be the up position. For the uh, idle up um, uh, two, it'll be the middle position. And for the idle of one, it'll be uh, the down position, okay? And, okay, so these are my three uh, flying flight modes that activate the motor. And, of course, uh, when the auto rotation or throttle hold is, say, active, uh, these will not engage. This, these, the, the idle ups only engage when the throttle hold is uh, off, you know, with the X. And the default flight mode, that, that just, you don't do anything with that. Um, uh, also for setup purposes, 
I like to, um, uh, actually we don't do anything there. I like to, to set up a throttle curve so that it's instead of standard, it, it has like a flat 50 in the middle. Again, this is just useful for uh, setup purposes. So I like to create say a five point curve. And then here we're gonna go to that uh, second um, value. We're gonna bring it up to uh, 50. Okay, so 50, this, this has like three values for 50. I like to use, you know, stay right in the center. And the same thing for this number, I you know bring it down to 50, okay? I'm going to do the same thing with the pitch curve, okay? So that, uh, again, just for setup purposes. Um, five point curve. Bring this value up to, uh, um, I guess, zero in this case. Zero, and, and we're done with that. 